Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. So today I'm going to tell you one of another amazing stories of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the companion about whom we'll talk about today is Hazrat Barra bin Malik Ansari who was the brother of Hazrat Anas bin Malik and the story is walking through the garden of enemy. So let's get started. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful. Hazrat Barra bin Malik uh, was the brother of Hazrat Anas bin Malik. He was very brave and took part in many battles and fought very bravely. After the death of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, a man named Musalma Kazab announced that he was a prophet and that he also received wahi from Allah. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq رضي الله who was the caliph at that time, sent an army to fight Musalma. Hazrat Khalid bin Walid was the leader of that army and Hazrat Barra bin Malik was also a part of that army. The Muslim army met the army of Musalma at a place called Yamama. The army of Musalma attacked the Muslims very badly and Muslims started to move back. This was a very difficult time for the Muslims. The enemy even got into the tent or the camp of Hazrat Khalid bin Walid and was about to kill his wife. At that time, Hazrat Barra gathered the Muslims and increased their morale and jumped into the big army of Musalma, fighting them very bravely. The Muslims followed Hazrat Barra and the enemy started running away from the Muslims and took refuge in a garden and closed the gates. Hazrat Barra jumped into the garden with the help of his friends and quickly walked through the enemy towards the gate and opened it for the Muslim army to enter the garden. The enemy struck him from all sides and he had almost 80 wounds on his body. He fell down and was taken to a camp for medical care. The Muslims won the battle and Musalma was killed. Hazrat Barra survived these wounds and was healed after many days. So Hazrat Barra uh, was healed after this time even though he had 80 wounds on his body and then he took part in many other battles. He wanted to die in the way of Allah so his wish was granted and uh, later on in a battle of Muslims with the, uh, with the, in Iran in, um, in Faris, uh, he, was, uh, he died in that battle saving his brother Anas. So he was a very brave man. He was the brother of Hazrat Anas bin Malik and he himself was a close companion of Prophet Muhammad and there is one thing that I want to say to you guys that uh, there were many people after Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who came, claimed to be prophets but Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that he was the last prophet of Allah and there is going to be no more prophets coming till the day of judgment only prophet Isa will come near the uh, day of judgment and but he will follow uh, the sharia or the ways that prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has um, left so anyone who claims to be a prophet is not a prophet we should always always deny it so I hope you guys enjoyed the story, share it with your family and friends and I will inshallah see you in the next one. Till then, fi amanallah.